All right, this one should be a bit easier, I hope. Um, just gonna check the map. Just get the terrain real quick. I don't think I'll need to camp a hill this time. That is actually very flat. The topography is, you know, fairly flat. A couple of, uh, couple of inclines and uh, declines in there as well, but more or less pretty flat. Cool. I'm definitely gonna fight this one. Will you join me or will you spectate? Uh, I will play as AI, because why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. See what you can do with uh, Rotich over there. What is he? He looks like a warp engineer. Yeah, he does actually. He does have a lot of uh, crystals warp. on him there, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Or warlock. Or something. Oh, yeah, he's a warlock. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Or... He definitely seems like the uh, type of guy who would spam a couple of uh, warp cannons. I might have Which, magic. Christ, I hope we don't let it get to that level. Because, yeah, I think I remember playing with um, Brunswick with the uh, Skaven buff uh, mod. They, like, the Skaven had Doom Wheels. Like, he, like, you, okay, like, to kind of go over, like, who we were playing, like, I was Tyrion and he was uh, Techless, so he had, like, the more infinitely uh, difficult start. Yeah. But, um, yeah, every time, like, he fought the Skaven, they always had either warp cannons or doom wheels and there was a doom wheel with the buff mod on that killed 900 of his elves single-handedly we just could not take it down because it would go in kill a couple and it would fuck off and yeah we could never hit it we could never hit the bastard this map is awesome by the way i'm not loaded in yet i gotta get this onto my solid state badly which again i promise i will do when uh this set of parts is uh, done recording. Yeah, when we can we finish our sesh. Yeah. It's awesome. It's like a Skaven esque kind of. Oh, fucking hell, the background's even better. <laughs> this, is like, this is like vanilla maps as well. We tried to get the GCCN maps uh, going, but part two was unfortunately um, out of date and hmm. we couldn't actually play the game with it on. Yeah. Which is, you know. It is what it is, I just found it weird how he updated part 1, but he never updated part 2. Yeah, that's an odd one. Hmm. But, if we was playing on our own, it wouldn't be a problem, but if saying that we had different... Um, like our games were incompatible for playing multiplayer, that was the only issue. Yeah, yeah, no, we probably definitely could have played a single player with the outdated mod, no problem. Yeah. It's just a bit of a bit of an annoyance, I guess, is what I call it. Oh, for the love of God, can I load it? Like, the way the way it works is for me is it loads fairly quickly up to, like, the last 5%, then it just kind of lingers there for, like, uh, a minute. yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are you trying to load in, game? Like, you did the rest of it pretty easy. Fucking get on with it. Ah, here we go. What do we got? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've definitely played this map uh, like, a few times. This is a fun one. Right. Yeah, the background's savage, actually. It's, like, Vermintide. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a fun map. Oh, yes, I get to fuck around with magic. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Very good, very good. Hmm. That's what I like to hear. I don't like the fact that the main part of my army is going to be... Slaves? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know. It is what it is, huh? Ultimately. Essentially, yeah. Right. This should be, uh, hopefully... I don't want to, you know, without sending uh, too cocky. This should hopefully be relatively straightforward. Right, one would hope. Yeah. I don't really have anywhere to hide my uh, cold one chariots, though, but... Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Okay, whenever you are ready. I will be ready in just a sec. I just doing no. shenanigans. Ah, <laughs> oh, shenanigan away, man. Right, I should be ready. Okay. Quite interested to see what you've done. Druki! Uh, can I? Oh, I'm just out of range for that. Good. That. I like it when you're out of range. Okay. These guys. All right, let's let's get moving, guys. 
Yeah, feel free. Hello. Oh, would you look at that? You put them in the thing. And you missed your charge. Yeah. Honestly, I will take that. Fucking up. It really does do a penalty hit to the morale. Yeah. It really does, doesn't it? Uh, I can get them to rest. It's annoying. <laughs> oh no, there we go. Oh, there you go. That's what I like to see. Bolt throwers! Fire on the enemy. Oh, oh my god, I love bolt throwers so much. You yeah, love to see it, man. You really do. There's not much I can do with this army, so I'm going to push the slaves forward. That's what they're there for. Yeah, I saw that coming, man. Aha. Moved him right on through. Come on, fire back, fire back, lads. Come on. I want to do this without taking a single casualty. Oh, that's a dick move. <laughs> well, I've taken a casualty. <laughs> And you aimed at the bloody Blackguard and Nagrand as well. Ah, uh, I thought you might do that. Can I ask my lord? Yeah. <laughs> True <laughs> Skaven style! <laughs> <laughs> Right on yourself, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, I love that. It's funny. That's so petty. Like, Jesus. Hack and cut. Kill them all. Kill them all. And again, the chariots are doing their job. They've gotten uh, nearly 200 kills. Yeah, the chariots will do all the work. Cause I've got nothing to, um, like, pin him down. Yeah. Get okay, get close up, X. Yeah, no problem. Cause Skaven on elves are always. It's always fun to watch two people, I, uh, two races I hate fight each other to the death. <laughs> I give the uh, Jack of some love, man. Never. <laughs> Shame. Well, took a, took a couple of losses there. Oh, another one. How? I thought I had him. Ah, uh, ow. I thought I had him locked down. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Keep him alone. <laughs> he's running again anyway. So. Hey. Hey, this is what he's getting, okay? Check this shit out. Watch your lord. Oh, I see it, yeah. <laughs> oh, where is it? I thought I saw crossbow bolts. It didn't fucking go through because oh, it ran too is. far away. Damn it. Oh, there it is. There it goes. I don't think it'll catch him. Oh, it might. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're on fire, bitch. Aha. Alright. Uh, I just wanted to do that real quick. I really should have fired that off, but, um, nah. Kind of forgot that I had it, to be honest. I killed 26 people with the, uh, lightning storm. Spells, yeah. Fair play, man. But thankfully, though, I think with the casualties that I've, uh, kept, I think I should instantly replenish. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So I'll take it. Blackout and Agrand with the one kill. They need to be pulling their weight a bit more. Golden I think chariots are really outshining them. I'm pretty sure I got most of the casualties that I inflicted was on the black guard. Yeah, you killed ten of them, I think. Killed a couple of dark shards as well, and um, 
I don't think he did anything really to the uh, Cold One Chariots. But like, you know, the Cold One Chariots, like, they're the only really good uh, units, uh, the really uh, faction that they're only really good against is Skaven, really. And yeah. I suppose Orcs as well. It's really any faction with uh, low leadership. If they were to go up against Dwarves, like, they would be annihilated. I think, like, if once you start fighting stuff like the ogres and that, yeah, I should be able to pin them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, the uh, the beast clans as well might be a little bit uh, tricky to get a handle on. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Cause the, sca just... the scaven are so small. You literally mm. run, you run through them, and then pop out the other oh, side. Oh no, yeah, straight through. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I suppose I could... well, you know, eating them, yeah, going through as well. Very likely. I suppose I could make my units blocks thicker, but I still don't think that would do anything. What? Well, like the only thing that would really kind of accomplish is it would make me spam right click on the other side to push him through. Yeah. And they would get through. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you'd need like a very you'd need like a four line thick uh, line of uh, dwarves to tank that. Or really, like any, uh, uh, really any unit with uh, relatively higher armor. I'm fairly sure, like another dark elf uh, unit could probably withstand us fairly well. Yeah, or black orcs. Like, yeah, probably black orcs as well. High elves could do it. Um, you know, empire units could probably do it. Yeah. Like they're a good shock unit for uh, factions like this to kind of get you through the early game. But like, he's not going to have a permanent place in my army. That's uh, not a chance. I can't wait. Like eventually. Oh, go on. No, I was going to say, I can't wait until you start fighting, like, uh, high elves and stuff. Yeah. And uh, who, like, who can I really look forward to seeing you fight where I might have a chance? Probably. Are you going to fight the Empire at all? Uh, probably not. Ah. Maybe. What about, uh, what about the Chaos? Chaos at some point, yeah. Mm. Be Beastmen at some point. Um,. Also, vampires at some point. I will have interactions with them at some point. Yeah, the undead are pretty fun. Um, um, but it's yeah, going to mind... mainly be orcs. Oh. It's mainly going to be orcs to begin with, just because I'm like in the middle of all of them. Yeah, same with me and the Skaven and uh, a couple of Dark Elves. Like, I, I would laugh, though, if uh, Archaeon just kind of found you with his uh, Hell Cannons. Yeah, fuck yeah. I, or like, we'll come to that. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Yeah, because yeah, that. that's going to be a pain <laughs> in the ass. I hate it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on Grimhammer as well, so like his Chaos Warriors are going to be so ridiculously buffed. Mm. Like, they're going to have like 150 armor, but they're going to have more armor than you. Yeah, which is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> like, holy shit. But like the like the one major downside with um, chaos is lack of mobility. Yeah. And lack of Rank. missiles as well. Yeah. Like they're just there for like the heavy hitting melee and a couple of um, chaos uh, spawn and beasts and whatnot. Aye. Blood for the blood god and all that. <laughs> I think and I think they may get a dragon, but I'm not sure if that's a mod or not. Like uh, I think the I lore ever, ever like in the lore? Like that they had a dragon, a chaos dragon? Yeah, there's a there's a uh the first Skull Skullix, I think. Yeah, he's I'm pretty sure that's the first Chaos Dragon to have existed. Yeah. He's got two heads on him. Skullix the Great. Yeah, he does, yeah. yeah. Um Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chaos Lords can get the Chaos Dragons as well. Yeah, but I think that's only a mod though. Because I remember, yeah. like, Eric Carthage had that for uh, his Archaeon campaign. Yeah. And um, he said that he had to add in a couple of uh, modded units of Renown that were lore-friendly, that, that were lore -friendly, but the devs never really bothered to put in the game. Yeah. Like uh, Skullix, for that matter. So, yeah, two out of Dragon Man. That's pretty metal. Yeah, they're all, they're all fucked up and janky as well, Chaos Dragons. Mm-hmm. The ah. the chaos the the chaos one I can't remember the name of the unit I think it's called like a vortex beast mm. or something it's called but basically it's like it's like a fucked up chaos like demon and on its back is like an open rift to the 
to the like warp, like the chaos realm. Yeah, yeah. So like when you get close, when you get too close to it, it's you start getting affected by the like manifestations of chaos. So yeah, that makes sense. In like the novels and stuff, like I'm pretty sure they're around during the end times. That's that's like what that's why they got introduced into the game. But uh, there's a ch there's a bit where like some Empire soldiers are like trying to fight it, and when they charge it, like the first couple of ranks just turn to mush. Uh, yeah. Because they because of the influence <laughs> of the fucking warp. It's the yeah, it's that that's a terrifying creature. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's gonna be a powerful spell on her. Ah, <sighs> good. Now I just need to get my arse back home. Which I'll be able to do shortly. Um, need to get him onto probably march stance, but that's gonna take one, two. It's gonna take at least three turns to get home. This actual re. I don't want to say retard because, uh, you know, fucking PC, but this actual retard is not building up his rebellion force right now. Oh, which is yeah. amazing for me right now. So he's only raiding. Like, he's costing me, like, 32 talents a turn. Like, that... I'll take it. Yeah. Um, I can do an upgrade, though. So we have this building. We have the artisan's house here. You always want the capital to be more um, military-based, while the outer provinces kind of handle the economy. I do want to repair these two right away, get the Black Spire and the Artisan House. I don't know if I want to have two of those. I, mean, I, do, I guess I do get the garrison out of it. And if we take a look at the garrison there... Yeah, I get like a bleak sword out of it, it's not too bad. Um, don't really have anything I need to recruit at the moment. Due to finances. Uh, do I have anything that I need to build? I mean, I need to figure out how quickly, like, when I want to get Blackguard of Nagarond actually recruited. And for that, I need the Palace of the Dread Knights. And for that, I need to get the level 5 uh, settlement going. So it's going to be a while before I can get Blackguard uh, going on a reliable, uh, kind of like, conveyor belt. Like, how long will it take for you to get a. Uh, your hammer warriors hammers i think i can get hammers before i can get iron breakers really i yeah. think so yeah let's have a look because it's it's moved around in the tech yeah um it's really nothing i need to build them thunderers thunderers cannon is it really gonna be up here i mean i can actually go for the growth and i think but that does decline my slaves and i don't really know if i want to do that I'm oh. going to keep the slaves through the economy. Right, I need a level 4 settlement, and then I need to build a building, and that building provides both hammers and iron breakers. Right. So, I, I believe that's not what it's like in vanilla. Yeah. But that's a bonus for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they've definitely made the uh, Black Adder Nagrand character to get in this. Oh, no, I need two buildings for iron breakers, because I also need to build... A Gromril Forge for their armor, obviously. Yeah. I think the hammers might need that as well. Can't tell. <laughs> but yeah, it's a way, it's a while off because I need a level four settlement. So. Hargoneth still deteriorating. They're still raiding, which is absolutely fine by me. It means I should be able to go in there and bop them, no problem. Bloody clan septic. Are you joking? Are you actually raiding as a one-man bloody army? I mean, you're literally on the way there. I can just go in and bop you. You're actually giving me chaos corruption, which I really don't like. Or, no, scaven corruption, even. Oh, hello. Okay. What's what's happened? Military alliance with Kark Norn, which I'm going to accept. I find I find allies in this game to be overrated because what's really like in my experience they only drag you into wars that you don't want. Uh, and... I'm just gonna skip this battle because it's like four units well, you, versus my army. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. 
literally oh, it would yeah. just be me headbutting orcs until they die. <laughs> <laughs> and they still killed 20 of your men. I could have killed more in all <laughs> Yeah, I probably could have killed uh, a couple of more. That's odd that they move forward and attack me there. Suicide pact. Has to be. Oh, see, look, that, that massive stack of orcs coming this way. Obviously, you can't see it, but like. I'm Are being... they going to attack here next turn? or? They might. I'm not entirely sure where they're going, but basically, to paint the picture, yeah. to my south is an orc settlement that I need to capture to control the whole um, province. Uh, I'm in the middle with a unit from. Uh, with a small army from the Border Princes. And just above me to the north, blocking off one of my exit routes, is a massive 20 stack of savage orcs. Right. Ooh. <laughs> and yeah, I, that, that 20 stack is going to be interesting for you. I don't know if we can actually kill it. Oh, that that's music to my ears. <laughs> um, anyway, shall we uh, convene again in the next part? Aye, yeah, we shall. Yes, let's do that. All right. So...